episode of C10 Scribes. So what we're going to talk about today, we're going to make this very clear. We're going to talk about the Pilot Road series, specifically the Pilot Road 5 that we have right here, because there appears to be a little bit of debate about the 2, 3, 4, and 5, and is really the 5 worth more money? Well, I can tell you the 5 is worth more money, and I'm going to tell you here's why. So first of all, this is a 190 5017. It weighs 13 pounds, 5 ounces. Pilot Road 4 and Pilot Road 3 are nearly 15 pound tires in the exact same size. That is rotational weight on the outside of the circumference. So, another thing I'd like to point out is that the Pilot Road 5 does have some updated compounds similar to the other ones, but there you go. Pilot Road 5, the compound is slightly changed, I'm quite sure, over the Pilot Road 2, which has been in production for 10 plus years. Let's talk about some tread depth and some tread wear. So the Pilot Road 5 starts out at 6.62 millimeters of tread depth to the wear bar. Total tread depth is 7.26 millimeters. I'm going to show you guys this used Pilot Road 5 that has about 6,400 miles on it. There's a wear bar. Now, this particular tire is pretty much done. It has 1.56 millimeters of tread depth left to the wear bar and 2 millimeter of tread depth total complete. Now, here's where it gets fun. This is not a Pilot Road 5 up front, that is a Pilot Power RS series. Now you notice that the tread pattern looks similar, except you don't have the additional sipes and cuts. The front tire for the Pilot Road 5 looks very similar to the rear. It has the sipings, the channels, the holes, the different grooves. Now, the reason why I run this tire is this tire is a dual compound also, but it's a little bit stickier. It's the same weight as the Pilot Road 5 in this same size. And I've run the Pilot Road 5 up here. But what I found out is because the mileage lasted so much longer on the Pilot Road 5 on the front, 11, 12,000 miles, it was getting a little cupped out towards the end. But it wasn't quite ready to retire when the rear tire was ready to retire. And motorcycles just really like a fresh set of tires. When you put just one on the rear and you got an older one on the front, you don't get the feeling of that new tip in when you go around the corners. It doesn't have that nice new crisp feeling. So the rear tire lasts basically seven to eight thousand miles depending on where I'm going. That Pilot Power RS up there lasts about seven to eight maybe nine thousand miles also. So I end up just changing them in a set. Now you may be wondering why I have this brand new rear tire for the bike. I just put that front tire on about 300 miles ago. I just wanted to run this one a little bit longer. I will get this uploaded in the forum where we're discussing this currently and uh, let you ponder on what you want to do on which tire you want to pick.